This is Easy Storage Shelving DIY. It is part of the Old Garage New Studio Playlist. Follow along to see the whole project come together. Here are the Easy Storage Shelves I built in my garage. I'm going to show you everything to build this design at your place creating great storage solutions. It is a very easy design to follow. I build sections 8 feet wide. It is most economical for 4x8 sheets. If you had a 24 foot wall, you would build 3 8 foot sections. In this situation, I'm working with a 22 foot wall. I will use 2 8 foot sections and 1 6 foot filler section. I finished mine all off with these 4x8 sheets of OSB. I've added a 2x3 down each edge and used two interior door hinges on the shelf supports. So a real nice way to clean it up uh, if you want that nice clean look. And here in the bench area I've got some temporary cushions or lounge chair cushions to sit in here to show you like what, what the setups could be. When I get finished, I'm gonna make some fabric cushions and fit this all in here really professional, just like a restaurant booth. So stay tuned for that DIY video. All right, I've got the area all cleaned up. Got my OSB on the wall. You can see here, I've got a three and a quarter inch baseboard that I've cut out of OSB. Fitted tight to the ground and pinching on this poly. So once I've done that, I know I'm sealed right down to the concrete. I'll probably run a bead of caulking down there once I've painted the floor. But I've got to put my baseboard on that side there and on that side there. Once that's finished, I'm going to get started with the shelving unit. And I'm going to go with two eight foot sections, one off that wall this way, one off that wall this way. And what's left in the center, I'm going to make kind of a bench seating area and some shelves above that. So this is a pretty standard utility garage shelf I've built many, many times. Here is an example of one I built years ago that had my motorcycle in the center section. This garage was 24 feet, so it worked out perfectly with three eight foot sections. The ceiling height was 10 feet high, so I spaced my shelves at two, four, six, and eight. For most economical use of the OSB or plywood, I'm ripping the shelves down to 24 inch. I will end up with eight pieces at slightly under 24 inches. Other economical sizes would be 12 inch or 16 inches. Try to make 12, 16 or 24 inch work for the depth of your shelves to not waste plywood or OSB. Great, I have eight pieces, all cut to just under 24 inches. Now let's start fabricating the shelves. To gain the most strength for the shelves, screw the OSB or plywood to the small edge of the two x three. I use six to eight screws down the edge. When designing your shelves, you can choose larger lumber for heavier storage. I'm using two by three by eight feet long and three eighths plywood or OSB Next step up would be two by four eight feet long and half inch plywood. For warehouse or paper storage, I have built with two by six eight feet long and three quarter inch plywood. With all the shelves fabricated, I will give this garage a quick clean and I will start attaching the two by threes to the wall as ledger boards for the shelves. If you're building freestanding shelves like this, you can use supports exactly like we're gonna show you in the front on the back to create a freestanding model. I'm spacing my shelves at two, four, and six foot high. I need a line to follow when attaching the two by threes to the wall studs. Use a four foot level or laser level to establish the line. Space your shelves at what works for you in this garage, I got one extra because the ceiling height is 10 feet high.
time to attach the 2x3s to the wall. Because I've got the studs marked on the floor, I can easily screw the 2x3s to studs with 3 inch wood screws. In this situation, I'm putting my two 8 foot sections to the outside and leaving my filler strip for the inside. Now, it's up to you what you do in that sense. You can go 8 foot, 8 foot, and then 6 foot, or you can go 8, 6, and 8. Whatever works for your design. Once your ledger is attached to the wall, bring in a shelf, screw to the ledger, and use your level to figure out what's perfect, then screw to your front support and move along to the next shelf. As I went with 2x3s, I'm adding a center support in my shelves. Sometimes this isn't required if you use 2x4s or 2x6s, but because I thought it was a little light for what we were putting on there, I wanted to prevent sagging in the shelf. The last ledger I put on a little bit lower, creating the perfect height for my bench. I can't wait to do the DIY bench section to show you guys a nice booth finished bench. Well, here it is, all finished off before the doors. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray with my Titan 330 sprayer, a Kills product on all the OSB, so there's no staining that will come through. I find when I've sprayed OSB in the past that there's always a yellow staining that will come through, so this Kills helps block all the stains. The paint finish turned out perfect. I used my roller to back roll areas that were a little bit thin. But now I'm ready to move on and start fitting the OSB doors to cover up the storage. Here's a quick look at a dry fit of the two doors. I am going to use interior door hinges and just add a two by three down each edge of the board. First one, all operational. Use the level to plumb it, make sure it's all good. Here are some final shots. And wow, nice and clean. Now I'm going to work on that DIY bench. Thanks for watching.